Days, weeks, and months go by. They get eaten up. It don't matter. I did some sort of an achievement. Some sort of goal. In this case, a dark goal. It's worth it, though. Hell yes, it is. By going this long, the idea is to send a message. By going this long, the idea is to show how much I really don't care. By going this long, the idea is to symbolically display a signal that by being in some zip-lip shit, I'm letting them know based on the consequences of their actions. You give someone so many chances, and they don't change, right? So by simply leaving them, you doing the right thing. They don't match your life. Not every human being gonna match up with your character, your personality, your demeanor. We like that idea, but people just have to be different on the planet because some type of belief system they possess that is contrary to your belief system. So I stopped talking for days, for weeks, for months, and even for years if we have to get extreme. Oh, trust me, as sweet as I look, I can get extreme. Matter of fact, I'm currently doing that as we speak. I do this as a humble way of getting revenge. Do I have to get verbal with enemies as tempted as I am? Well, no, because it's totally optional. The impulse will lead me to a counterattack by launching a verbal attack. Not all the time. Or even another form of justice. My own justice. <sighs> conflicts, man. Conflicts, conflicts, conflicts. Why do people talk shit? Yeah, I'm generalizing, but seriously, if you're my friend, then you must show all respect, point blank. Instead, y'all want to come and go, or vice versa. If I go, it's because of that same mistake that you have proven to never detox out of your head. Nowadays, you can't keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving people. Just because it's some type of religious idea. Sometimes it's best to hold grudges on people for a very long time. Because it prevents them from gaining access to your presence. And it prevents you from falling into another trap over and over and over. You gotta think twice. Gotta think ahead. Gotta be sharp-minded. Too many crazy people out there. Better to be safe than sorry. Even if it means getting verbally backstabbed by bitch niggas. Who thought they was correct for saying the fucked up shit they said. At some point, you must tell yourself, I can't collab with this cat. I can't fuck with this cat for life. That's how I do it, at least. Going days, weeks, and months with zero talk for the better future.